Andrew Cook writes, Hey guys, have you heard that a movie based on the video game and book series The Witcher has been announced for 2017? Any thoughts? Um, yeah, actually, and we have Witcher here in the office. Uh, yeah. It has been uh, played by you yeah. and stuff like that. It's Look, you just watch the opening like 15 minute cinematics and stuff like that. There's in the mythology behind the, the Witchers and stuff like that. There's a movie to be told there. Now, we are heading into an age right now where Warcraft and um, uh, Assassin's Creed is coming out that will hopefully change the landscape of video game movies. All video game movies up to this point have sucked. But if we can get that seal broke with either Warcraft or Assassin's Creed, Witcher could be something that would be really quite interesting. Unfortunately, it requires a big budget. I mean, you can't do a Witcher movie and not have a big budget. Now, that, by big, it doesn't have to be $200 million, but probably in the $125 million range. That means big risk. So they're rolling the dice on it, but but I'm happy for it. Schnepp, what do you think about this? Yeah, I would, I, you know... As long as they wait two years, because they just had that Vin Diesel Witcher movie come out, you don't want to have people. Is this a sequel to the Last Witch Hunter? You know, Witcher. It's like I can it's a see great how, point. I can see how people could, you know, that could get too close because the titles. But I playing The Witcher was, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic game, and I only played it for like about three or four hours. It's obviously those people are like, I spent eight months playing. It's like yeah. <laughs> a very deep game that you can go on a lot of side quests. So. I, I would love to see them take the newest Witcher and use that story that they have where they're on the hunt for that one witch. Mm. It's fantastic. So if you haven't even played the game, just play the game just to get in preparation to watch the two-hour version, the digest version of the actual 80-hour game. So I hope I hope they make it. They do a good job. It's two smaller production companies that I never heard of. That's who's producing it. So Yeah, I mean, uh, Monster Hunting is a great idea for a big-budget movie. That's the question, mm. though, is what is the budget going to be? Is right. it because the, the Last Witch Hunter, some of the visuals were okay. Some weren't so good, and it was a you know fine movie for just throwing popcorn in your face and turning your brain off. But The Witcher also gets a little more into like the morality of doing this like like should i even be doing this right now it's almost like watching an episode of 24 where you're rooting for jack barber you're also like oh, your interrogation methods are a little dicey <laughs> and the witcher seems like a great property you could bring to the big screen and i hope that we get that resurgence with video game movies that we all are talking about it could be with assassin's creed it could be with warcraft it could be with ratchet and clank who knows when the first good video game movie after mortal Kombat is coming out the, the witcher should be in the running you know what? oh wait a this just in uh it will not be ratchet and clank <laughs> you but know also what? the movie comes out i think they're, they're talking about a 2017 release date and the studio that seems ambitious one of the production companies that, that's working on is the sean daniel company mm -hmm. which god love them they also did the mummy reboots and th th that's what i'm worried about with a video game movie like this is you're just th you're just using a name brand and you're going to throw some cgi in there and you're just going to not make as rich of a story as we want with something like the witcher there's so much rich source material in the mind so i hope they do it correctly i'm actually of the mindset that i hope that they go with a slightly lower budget and really concentrate on sure, the story sure. elements because the story elements can be done on a low budget. Like I'd, I'd even say like twenty million. Like I know that sounds incredibly low, but that's incredibly. Low. I know, but they could do that. Bust off in Bulgaria somewhere and just use a lot of the, the sets that are already kind of lit. Like they're living Witcher sets. You just move in. Uh, I think they could do it on a low budget and then do some of the big special effects and save that money for those those set pieces that would be in the middle and the last act. I don't know. I think. Like playing it safe with Witcher is how I would go. I wouldn't spend 125 million on it. it it's a great pitch at, at a studio meeting. Like, hey, we want to make The Witcher for one eighth of the cost of Gambit. Give us the money. I know, right? <laughs> I the the risk I think you run though is that fans of the game, if you don't really go all out with the monsters and the combat and the magic and stuff like that, they could be very upset. They could be. I'm just maybe. saying the costuming and like if you if you look at Witcher and broke it down from a budgetary standpoint, you were like, I could shoot half of that in Bulgaria with 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 sets that already exist that Uwe Boll made. Just, <laughs> just redress them. Oh, look, still I'm, just, sitting I'm there. just spending an extra million just making these sets look better. Bam. Like the know? moisture farm in Tanzania. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.